Hello world, PBR coming at you here. Sorry about the background noise. We're out here in nature. We've got an 09 Dodge, uh, not a Dodge, it's a Chevy. It's a Chevy uh, Duramax 2500, um, real nice truck. And it's got a large crease in the rear fender there. You see how large that is? That's probably four inches without the top line. It goes all the way down to here. And then up top, it goes through this top line and has one of these weird little eyebrows on a on a stamped panel so this is going to be a tough one guys i'm getting it warm i actually have access whoa bertha's stuck up in a hole there or was i got a, a little hole drilled up underneath the padding we don't have to get all the way in there but i'll just show you that my tool can actually get behind there and get to the back of that dent i'm not going to start pushing obviously because i want to try to get this one out as clean as possible we're gonna get it nice and warm. We just had it actually not nice and warm. It's a fairly cold day out today. And uh, we're just gonna get it warm so that the glue will set nicely. And I think that's about 65, 60 degrees, 70 degrees. Not even super hot. Let's grab the glue gun and a Keiko crease tab. Looks like the glue's just hot enough. And I'm gonna drop it right in here. Ooh, baby. Let's try to get that most of that meat out. Um, I know it's kind of tough to see because it's white. And this is when we give it that 35, 45 seconds. And I will say, I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on the video. I really do. Um, if you would, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Sure appreciate all the positive comments that we're getting. I'm going to move the board a little bit. I don't know if this board's even helping you guys because it's not really helping me. But... I'm gonna move this a little bit and put it on this side just so I can see where I'm at. Pull with the right hand. And let's just give it a nice solid yank. Um, I'd have to say that that moved a little bit of metal, but you guys saw how severe that crease was right into that. Oh, I don't know, maybe you can probably see it a little bit better than me. Mm -hmm. Hit it with a little bit of ISO. Peel that glue right off. And I'd say we moved it ah, a good 20 or 30 percent. Let's do that exact same thing again. And just kind of get more of it out. Try not to cause another dent with my board. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it looks like it wanted to move it a little bit, but I didn't tap down the brows enough. Um, I probably should have spent some brow work on this top edge but with the way that this dent was I didn't want to manipulate the dent in the wrong way and have it kink I almost wanted to make that first pull so I could see where that kink was so I could know where to make my next pulls and where to tap if need be honestly right now guys if need be tapping it'd be this top edge just the tiniest bit of this top edge just so that it that folds the metal down a little bit so it wants to pop back out more. But I'm at about that 65% mark. And I think I'm just gonna make another pull. What's that? Oh, and I'll move my hand. So you guys can't see because my hand. Thank you, wifey. Best camera lady in the business. Let's give that one 45 seconds. And if you notice, guys, I kind of came off at an angle. I'm not straight out on this one. The dent was made by a trailer folding backwards, so the dent came in at this angle. I actually want to pull back at the same angle that the dent was in. Tiny little tidbit of a trick, but who knows how, how helpful that is. Honestly, after this one, I'm probably just gonna get behind there with my tools, start tooling it out. We'll call it a two-part video, and you guys can come back and see the final result. But this is the first couple of pulls. This is, you know, I've actually had a customer say, you think I could just buy that buy that glue puller and do it myself? Um, that's why I wouldn't suggest for anybody that really wants it done right to just do it themselves. You could get it out, you know, that much, but that dent is obviously still there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this super warm, come in here and make some pushes through that line, make some pushes down through here, clean this whole thing up, and I'll probably bring you guys back in just for the little bit of pushes and then the finale to show you what we ended up looking like. 
This is not a quick dent, guys. This one's gonna take a while. Um, I gave myself four hours to do this dent, so I'm probably gonna spend about three and a half just dialing it in. I'll come back in just a bit and show you what we got. So we're about 127, 130, almost exactly, on that paint. When I say nice and warm, that's what I mean. I usually said 100 degrees, but guys, it really is about 130 for that paint. It'll start to melt if you get it up above that. I'm just getting it nice and warm. And now I thought I'd bring you guys in for some of the severe pushes. I'm up underneath this tent, and hopefully you guys can get a visual. Um, I'm going up to the very top of it and it's tight up there I mean this is a guys I gotta say this is not an easy dent for any technician this is a high level of difficulty I'm on that top edge and I'm just gonna start coming towards myself I want to get it pushed out before it cools coming down towards myself a little making some really severe pushes through the middle of that and now I'm going right up to the top again Thought I'd bring you guys in for a little bit of the pushing. I've actually been on this one for about an hour. And uh, like I say, we're trying to make this one come out as clean as possible. This one right here, um, you know, I told the customer straight off the bat that this would never come out 100% and we're looking for, you know, we're just looking for the best result possible. But obviously if I can get it out without breaking any paint, um, sorry about the background noise there. We are out here, outdoors. Uh, if I can get it out without breaking any paint or making any funky push marks, that's what we're, we're looking for. And I don't know if you guys can see right into this dent or not, but um, there's a little scuff, but there's actually no cracked paint yet, right? I mean, I'm keeping it really warm and I'm making a really slow pushes. We've gotten most of that dent out. A little bit of that I worked. But uh, I'll come back to you here with the final result and we'll show you exactly what we ended up with. I sure appreciate you all sticking around for this one. I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, here's what we ended up with. Definitely not perfect. I told the customer it wasn't gonna be perfect. It was gonna be getting the dent out. I was going against physics so much that by the time I was making these final little pushes, that paint was just wanting to fracture because it was so far pushed in. Bringing it back out, no matter how slow I did it, it wanted to fracture that paint, no matter how warm I got it. Um, that paint just wanted to separate. So basically, I didn't want to go all the way through the last little bit and push that last little line out and make it separate more. I stopped at this, I'd call 90% mark. Um, the difference between having a big knocker dent there and having a little bit of touch-up paint right in the middle is gonna be what we're left with. And uh, I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on this video and sticking with me through to the end of this long dent. Um, this is one of these ones that I don't know if I'd call a fail, but I definitely wouldn't call, you know, the super awesome success. I think we just uh, did, the, did the work today and did, got what we could out of it. Um, hopefully we saved this person from going to a body shop. And uh, if you guys would, hit that like button on the way out. Sure appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. This has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.